Yes, I remember the aunt. I'll finally go to Italy. Let's talk about it. I've wanted to go to Italy since I was a child. Since I knew myself, since I've heard of pasta, pizzas, and spaghetti. And the truth is that this was one of the main motivations for me to go to Italy and of course practice my Italian a little bit. First of all, my experience in Italy is was simply surreal because with each passing second, I was living my dream. I was in Milan principally, and it's a vibrant city with a stunning European style architecture. However, despite being a big city, usually associated with people being rude and unhelpful, I have to admit that the people there that I came across were quite helpful and friendly. And what I appreciate even more is that when you go into these smaller cities like where I stayed in Gareta or Sampione, una cosa, I'll put the name right here. Being a smaller city, I found that the people were much more talkative and conversations felt natural, intimate and without barriers. The second thing about Italy is that Milan in particular, it is known for fashion and so I dressed my best because I, not my best best, but I simply dressed well because I wanted to be a part of that fashion culture. However, unfortunately, I didn't see a lot of high fashion whilst in Milan. However, I still managed to get a slight taste of this luxurious lifestyle while traversing the streets of Via Monte Napoleone, one of, if not the most exclusive shopping areas with top names in the fashion industry. And I even saw these clothing items that cost a ridiculous amount of money. Even something that was crocheted that cost maybe 3,000 or 6,000 euros, that is ridiculous. Number three, I think that Milan is a very open and safe space. I personally didn't feel any judgment at all. Number four or five, I don't remember what number I'm at. Regarding transportation, it's very cheap. Just at the metro, it's two euros and 20 cents, I believe. And uh, the ticket is valid for 90 minutes. That is simply spectacular. And for the regional trains, the cost is about five or six euros. And of course, I would imagine that that depends on the distance you're going. What's interesting about this train is that you have a camera that shows the different um, sections of the train. So at some point in time, you might see yourself or you might see other people. So it's interesting. That, that's me. <laughs> and the last interesting fact which I'll speak about is my first experience with a bidet. In fact, I've seen them before and I've gone to some hotels, but I've never used them because there was never any need. After I do my business, I'll just simply go and have a shower. But I said, you know what, I'm here in Italy, let me live like an Italian. All in all, I enjoyed myself in Milan and I'm looking forward to coming back to Italy where I may be able to see and discover other cities. So of course, if you have any questions about Italy, don't hesitate to let me know in the comments down below. So like, share, subscribe and I'll see you next time. Ciao, ciao.